Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So, I'm going to continue with the Archon Quest, Chapter 2, Act 1. Time to go to Inazuma. Is it time for us to go to Inazuma? Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? Traveling to Inazuma. Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. Oh. There you are. You're the traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? Since our intel has arrived. <laughs> the fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Okay. Captain Beido sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beido is the captain of our word. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. Okay. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Until we meet again, Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. Is there going to be another Catherine in Inazuma? <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? Of course. I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. I knew it. <laughs> so there's another Catherine in Inazuma? <laughs> see, there's no need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's all time right, for then. you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyan Stone Forest. Okay. Thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. Alright then. Here we go. Chapter 2. Act 1. Board the anchor and find Beidou. How will Inazuma... Well, I've tried... I've seen... Uh, I've got, been there once on co-op. But I didn't really got a good look at it. I figure exploring is going to be tougher there. <laughs> Alright then, so let's see Beidou. Ah, you finally made it. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation Eternity. of eternity. Anchors away! Alright. Here we go to Inazuma. Oh, the scene. Ah, Kazuha. <laughs> After braving the raging thunderstorm, the alcohol comes into port. Okay. Ooh. The music, that's like Sakura Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> that reference. Ah, Toma. I got him already. Oh, hi there. So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say. Honored guests. Stories? Yeah. Yes. 
You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. Okay, trade partner. Huh? <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, uh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. Oh, you even know the stormy seas can <laughs> keep rumors of these outlanders sterling deeds at bay. Nice to meet you, Toma. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. Okay. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board after all. Oh, right. Kazuha. Okay. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beetle. Bye-bye. Oh, finally we are here. Now then, <laughs> first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Right. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. Okay. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Now I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> This is this place is very strict. Okay, so now go register at the body checkpoint with Toma. The map. I don't have a map. Eh? I have a teleport waypoint. I need to get to the statue of the seven person and unlock this area. Okay, so this is totally new to me. Good thing I check. There are some weapons even. <laughs> Oh, a viewpoint. Rito, Narukami Island. Oh, okay, so that's the name of this place, okay. Oh, there's fishes here. I probably can fish, yep. <laughs> Whoa, nice catch! Alright, enough fishing for now. Here, okay. Kageyama, Inspector. State your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. <laughs> you must be new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying. We're here with you. to trade wine and ore. We are here to find my sister. Well, the true answer is we're here to find my sister. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... Uh... We... Uh... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are the entry papers, for your kind perusal. Oh, Toma, you could have said that earlier. <laughs> uh, take your time! No rush or anything! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. Okay. I see. Okay, your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. <sighs> so, where do we go next? This is the tough. Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they Outlander only check Affairs. entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Oh. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. Okay. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. Welcome or not, we don't have a choice. I genuinely go on. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Okay. 
Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, Kanjo the Kanjo Commission. Commission. Heard of that before? The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one branch yep. of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible no, we heard for growing and we managing heard the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? Another waypoint. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Quite a notification. Oh, really strict, and I can even even the chat. I mean, even the NPC. <laughs> okay, so this way, I think. Eureka. <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency? Both of you? Uh huh. Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Excuse me? Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two per million applicant. total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math <laughs> as... <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to 400,000 mora total. That's a major discount actually, but still quite expensive. I have 500,000. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should 600? cover it if I'm on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? What? That's not how you haggle! By all means, bargain the price down, but... Alright then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. Okay. Process smoothly at the Outlander Fest Agency. What? She went from two million <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> Two million to six hundred. Six hundred become like what? <laughs> Grocery uni. Reminds me of someone else's strange relationship with Mora. <laughs> Zongli. <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. The processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency, so they're just tricking them with money. Them for all their worth. <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, blatant oppression against outlanders. Doesn't anyone push back? Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation far era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence so and So how would an skills. Onlander ever get to meet the Radiant Shogun Fist further away than ever? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an Outlander in Inazuma. Hmm. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you're Outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Radiant Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. <laughs> and is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Oh? Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. All the resources? However, before we get there, 
Connections come at a high price, you understand? Hmm? Uh, not you too! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. Okay. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds I help you, you help me. Isn't it? <laughs> You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone Okay, what's the job then? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. Alright. Wait, where is he? Go to the International Trade Association and understand its member situation. Oh, okay, this is crazy. Huh? Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. The Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. <laughs> ah, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful. Or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. Nearly lost at the processing fee. <laughs> we heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles uh -huh. at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sakoku decree might restrict our scope of activity. But in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... Those Mora Grubbers from the Conjo Commission. Mora Grubbers? Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations. And that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What is that? Crystal Marrow? Exactly. What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. Uh -huh. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an Why arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price that higher and higher. Very hard to get crystal marrow. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't <laughs> that what they call a monopoly? <laughs> exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the, the tax end. decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... Absurd treatment, exactly. Can't you discuss with the Kanjo Commission? <sighs> We've tried communicating with the Commission directly. But this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? Try our best to negotiate with the Kanjo Commission. The vendor does sound like a fishy character. Hmm. <sighs> that vendor... I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point, he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's yeah. being unfair. <laughs> How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! 
We're on the case. Okay. Find the merchant selling crystal marrow. Huh? I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? You just arrived. You don't recognize me, but I'm the fixer around these parts. <laughs> so, what do you need with me? Where do you source your goods? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Mm -hmm. Trade secret. Got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? <laughs> this guy's got a bad attitude. Can you reduce your prices? <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. Hey, what's your problem? Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. And they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Time to get the real fixer on the case. Yeah. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. Alright, Werner. Ah, oh, I miss doing this. More speed. <laughs> Explore uh, I'm doing quests in a totally new area. <laughs> Quick. No. You resulted already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. You're going to have us help us help you. <laughs> no? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. What do you know about when? <laughs> oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying hmm. he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? Yeah, I didn't get the impression he was a local. Seems like a Mondstadt. It is, eh? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt. Hmm. Then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him. But over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth okay. left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Some would call that form of freedom. It was the wind that led me back here to you. When we could sound like from Monster, the sound. <laughs> huh? Where is this coming from? A bot serenade would be perfect right now. Then the line Y should be nice on a day like this. <laughs> Monster? You were talking about Monster? <gasps> I'm giving you something? Okay. Uh. Windmill Esther, Dandelion Seed, Wolf Hook, Small Lamb Grass, Bellberry, Cecilia, Kalia Lily, Philanimal Mushroom, oh my gosh, all the monster stuff. I'll give the lamb grass, uh, I got too much of this. <laughs> Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. So he's a monster. The scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it May the animal I can't protect you, like the windy. <laughs> oh, my hometown, the home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's wow. working. Oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Close your eyes. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already. Does it sound familiar? You mean the sound of the ocean? Cheap and tasty chop suey. 
Great tiger fish, get it while it's hot. <laughs> Leah Harbor. I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves. The calls of the merchants. Never be extinguished. Xiao lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Hmm, yeah. Either that or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. It's been that <sighs> new. Liyue. Liyue. Wow, everyone in, in Azuma then... Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm giving him the Nocticulus Jade. I have too many of that and never used it. <laughs> Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. A lot of people are just sympathize with the position you're in. You mean the folks from the International Trade Association? Hmm. And I suppose they are far from home, just yep. like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, yeah, no, no one's stopping, stopping you. you so... Probably there is, though. They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people Those in the world. People. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I, I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants. Then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this! Oh, I'm their so puppet, it's him, yes. It's those people. But my cut is a tiny fraction yeah, we need of what we take in total. Them. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me mm -hmm. suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. Okay. Find KG Rose tracks. Back here. Kajiro, it's him. That guy. After him. Follow Kajiro without being noticed. Um. Without being noticed. Oh, this is. Oh man, we're doing this again. Okay, but we don't want him to see us, though. Sorry, I need to think about it. Ah, Ryoko, how's business? All the better, thanks to your generous patronage. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course, tax collection is difficult Ryoko. work. All right. Now, who else is behind on payments? Behind on payments? Let me think. Yes, the trade association click still needs to be brought into line. Oh. He's getting further and further. Hmm. What was that sound? Shh. Quiet! Yeah. Don't let him find I know. Us. Must 
must be hearing things. Ah, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little. Oops. Now what? What's he doing? What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, mm -hmm. didn't it? Why don't we take a look? Make sure he doesn't come back. Find evidence of Cage's wrongdoing. What do you do? You? Boring! Hyman got it hidden a big <laughs> pile of Mora here. The real reason Paimon came along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look here. Hmm? Ah, yes! This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, really? each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here then. Huh? Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I I need a little more time before I'm ready oh. to face the head of the association. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? Alright. Um Where did that guy go anyway? <laughs> oh here. Keijiro. But we really don't have anything left. Uh -oh. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. They don't making a mockery of the rules here, Keijiro. <laughs> and who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Chris Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the <laughs> taxes, you? uh, let me take a look at the ledger. Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Oh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already stuck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Oh hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and 
you dare to utter the Commissioner's name? You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Oh boy. Uh oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, ah, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> <laughs> ha! You never heard of the fixer? Tata doesn't have any weight with these people. Here's my card. <laughs> uh, you're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. Of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young lady. Who? The of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan, the Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Hmm? Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen! My <laughs> treat, I insist! Uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. That's what you mean. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. He's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> All right. It's time for me to answer your questions. What would the you like Yashiro to know? The Yashiro Commission. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission Kamisato on Narukami clan. Island. I'm an attendant oh. of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? So, the Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro okay. Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I know Ayaka is a I'd Yashi go into more detail on what exactly that covers, <laughs> but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My yeah, role is Ayaka, to take care there's... of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, the clan. also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Okay. It seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys oh. just now. <laughs> oh, That's most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. So where does Fixer of Rito thing come from? You're asking the right questions. And to be <laughs> honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a Fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Oh. Still pretty good going for just a month's work! <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight nag for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Oh, okay. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. So, I have With a your feeling... help, even the Vision Hunt Decree. <laughs> I never offered to help. I refuse. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, hmm. That's an unexpected development. Yeah. Perhaps our sources were misleading. One goal here to meet the Raiden Shogun. Yes, of course. I completely understand and has agreed. I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Well, now we understand lah why... Oh, uh, hmm? one more thing. This invitation, invitation letter, letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, okay. as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Toma's not such a bad guy, huh? Yeah. Uh, we should but get going. there is one problem. Huh? What's up? Outlanders are unable to leave Rito. Yeah, we'll be... Unless we have that letter, we can, is it? Must be you? part next part of his test. Perhaps not. Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter of fact about the whole thing. As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamura Tea House <laughs> to settle the score. <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Okay. Can we at least open the map? I need the. Is this where this is this Rito? Uh, I mean, this is the end of Rito. We're going another section already. Kobayashi. Stop there. Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kind of urgent. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. Wow, we can't even move between. <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? I wonder if the Kanjo Commission has heard of us. If the Yashiro Commission has heard of us. Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates. Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> okay. So we can't go further, huh? Can I even take whatever this is? Okay. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespassers. We are here to see. Uh, the Kanjo Commissioner, you know, yeah. Uh, the Kanjo Commissioner? The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Hiragi Shinsuke. Oh, Commissioner! <laughs> yeah, it is him. These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. The usual spiel? Mm, come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Huh. Did you get all that? <laughs> my, my sincere apologies. Okay, finally. Talk to Shinsuke. Kanjo Commission. Let's see. I am Hiragi Shinsuke. Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. It's an honor to meet you both. Honor to meet you? Nice to meet you, sir. So, the reason we wanted to come and see you was because... Alright, alright, all in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. Let's not limit this to business only. <laughs> so what you're saying is, we really are pretty famous, huh? Absolutely. How many other people in the world have okay. what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's yes. sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Exactly! Paimon thinks you make an excellent point. <laughs> and I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in That's duel. true. Is that true? Whoa! You heard about that too? Uh, yep. It's true, all right. Hmm. As I thought. Um. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both, is all. They still got their way. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. 
One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Helping other people. This makes me wonder whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Conjure Commission. Oh sure, no problem. Whatever you need. Time to run some errands again. <laughs> I, well, I expected that though, so sure. Excellent. <laughs> well then. What is it? You must know the Qingxin. A flower I have grows some. on the mountain tops of Liyue. Yeah, I remember that. I have some of yep, those. we've picked a few of those before. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you want us to go back to Liyue? Actually, we have some right now. We don't need to. <laughs> yes, bring me 300 Qingxin, would you? Excuse Freshly me? Picked, I mean. Freshly... 300 freshly picked, so whatever I have now doesn't count. But 300? Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? Uh, they don't stay fresh after they pick, yeah. Hmm, too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Well, the 50 star stable in, in Dragon Spine was already tricky enough. <laughs> then, how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Delivering, Perhaps okay. You can help with that. Sure. That sounds much more like it. What do I need to deliver? Seven hundred and nine letters, to be precise. Excuse me. What is this? Hey, what gives? How come you don't have people to do that already? <laughs> yeah. Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. Who's that? What sort of an explanation is that? Is that the doctor? Uh, I'll need to look into it more first. That's the spirit. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> okay. Are you seriously considering taking this job? The terms are ridiculous. Leave the Kanjo Commission office. Okay. Hey, I see a. Uh... Ooh. That's an electroculus, is it? Oh, that's an electro one. Eh? All right, yeah, this is the electro uh, area. So leave the counter commission. Halt, you two. Hmm? Huh? What do we do? Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. Oh, the doctor just now. Quick, let Paimon see. Um, meet tonight under the glow. Do not fret about retainers and bodyguards. Their attention will be elsewhere. Okay, what is this about? So this means she wants you to secretly meet her at night, but you didn't seem surprised at all by this. What's going on? <laughs> She has no intention of letting us leave. <laughs> huh? Have you been up to something behind Paimon's back? Hmm. Let's ask her tonight. See what she has to say. Okay, what is this about? Is there something else? Hiragi Chisato. Back up. Um, everywhere we walk around, we get halted. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, right there. Oh, where's the here? Ah, you finally arrived. Ah, okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. This is technically the second time we have met. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again. Wow, she's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. Uh, no need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments. And at last, we have the chance to meet. Is that Paimon, or does something seem a bit off here? The hmm? reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is... Well, I feared that I might never have another opportunity to discuss this with you. Okay, what is this about? Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering... The <laughs> <laughs> expression just changed. Delivering a letter as well. Well, uh, I'm leaving. Uh, like father, like daughter. Couldn't you be more original? <laughs> no, you misunderstand me. Please, allow 
Allow me to explain. All right, what is it? I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. It is to be given to Kujo Kamachi of the Tenryo Commission. A letter to Narukami Island? Maybe that's another way we can go to Narukami Island? Just by delivering this letter? My father has always forbidden <laughs> me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. But my heart is with Kamachi. I see. There is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito. But you are outlanders. Outlanders seeking to get to Narukami yes. Island. It would be regrettable to let such an opportunity pass. I see. Pass. That's a good... Uh... Oh, Paimon gets the whole picture now. Of course, in doing so, I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. Yeah. That is my promise. That's a reasonable deal. Okay. To be perfectly honest, as long as you remain in Inazuma, my father will have no intention of letting you leave Rito. Uh -huh. Yeah, we figured as much. It was pretty <laughs> obvious he was just trying to hold Yeah, with up. all those, uh, what the heck, 709 letters, bruh. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant sounding woman just a few days ago. Arrogant sounding? They seem to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. An In fact, arrogant sounding it was the first woman? time I had ever heard my father that speak sounds so familiar. respectfully to someone who wasn't the Shogun. Is it someone we know? <laughs> Seems we need to get off Rito as fast as we can. We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. It just so happens that a shipment of goods is... Okay, so... They're Very trying to trap us in, Re in Rito. I'm counting on you to deliver my letter. Okay. Rito escape plan. Ah, that's the quest I've been hearing about. I need to finish this to uh, unlock a lot of stuff. Okay. So go to Rito's border to carry out Chisato's plan. Yeah, that is the plan. By the way, can I get that geo geoculus? Electroculus. How do I get up there? Is that the statue? Hold on. Is that the statue? Wait. Um I wonder if I get electric uh resonate with electro. Let me switch. Yeah, I, I don't want this Shiho anymore. <laughs> Actually yeah, I can use my Geo to go Well But it's a bit tricky. Yeah. Am I I I, I want to get the electro. Statue of the Seven, finally! Yes! There we go! Inazuma, oh, okay. Rito. So this is, this is Rito, only this area, okay. I see, Kamisato Estate, okay, I've seen that. Narukami Shrine, Chinju Forest. Is it everything? Oh, Inazuma city is down there. Wait, let me zoom up. Okay, yeah, this is one island. Okay, I see. Resonate with Electro. Let's go. Unlimited power achievement. Okay, finally I got Electro. Let me try this. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm electric now. <laughs> Electro now. Finally, all right. Well, besides, uh, razor, I have traveler so as Electro. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I think I wanna finish up this Rito escape plan thing so I can unlock the. I don't know how do I get the Electro Killers up there. Maybe next time. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> right here. What am I supposed to do? Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to Watatsumi Island. My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested by the Kanjo Commissioner. We must be certain that they reach Watatsumi Island intact. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. 
My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort be dispatched to ensure safe transport of the goods. Yes. My lady, you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to trouble yourself with such a matter. And as for this qualified escort... Look forward to working with you. Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this shipment must arrive on time. I'm certain punishment will be duly dispensed wow. if it fails to do so. Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this... Hmm? Now, need I remind you of the penalty if anything were to happen to me en route? I'm sure you are all quite familiar with my father's temperament. Do you really presume that you can fully <laughs> guarantee my safety on your own? Boy, Chisato can talk the talk. They don't stand a chance. Uh, uh, yes, my lady. Very well then. It, it's an honor to have you accompanying us. Your safety is our highest priority. <laughs> Shinojo! You can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. Yes, but that's not the problem here. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. You heard her. There's no time to lose. So we have to guard this thing, isn't it? Oh, we're guarding the balloon. Okay, we're not destroying the balloon, but we're guarding the balloon. Okay. Um, I have Yula, Bennett, Ningguang. Is that good enough? Let's just try. Let's go. Start. Five minutes. All right. We have to guard. We have to guard, not <laughs> destroy. We usually destroy a balloon. All right. Um, My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Oh. Not as well as oh, we'll shoot. handle it. Oh no. No 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 no. Okay. No 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 no. Lightning slash. Lightning slash? Oh, let's go. Freeze to the core. And this one? Okay. Oh. Wait, who's attacking? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fake for mercy. Nope, nope, nope. What is that? Samurai? Oh no. Protect Lady Hiraki at all costs. Monsters? The people. Oh no. Oh, we got ability. What's this? Okay. Oh, we got electric attacks. Oh boy. Stop, 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 stop attacking the bird. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Damn, Samurai's, man. Stop. There we go. Let's keep going. Oh, these are the monsters. Okay, just... Oh no. You see monsters but they're people. Oh what the heck? What is that? Samurai? Why is Samurai here? Damn it! Everybody stand back! Let's light it up! What's this? I'm I'm about to die. Thanks for mercy. Hold on. Stop these guys first. Hey, this might be tough. Wait, hey, hold up. Freeze to the core. Crush. Following thunder. One more. It's still not over yet. Two minutes more. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? 
And that was a little bit tricky. I'm perfectly all right. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. Okay. In my letter, I've requested Kamaji to grant you a special travel permit from the Tenryo Commission. Travel permit. All right, let's Consider see. Consider it a token. All right, thank you, Kisato. My lady. So that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but Shinojo, you... No, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us, I'm sure of it. But who is this Kamaji you speak of, my lady? I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I love. The one you love? Shinojo, did you honestly think that... What? No, I, uh... I was just clarifying, that's all. I, I would never in my wildest dreams... Uh... <laughs> You two needn't worry. Please, forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I alone will be held accountable. Yes, of course. As you wish, my lady. But what will happen if your actions here are discovered, Chisato? Don't fret. My father has always been one to spoil me. The worst he'd do is sentence me to half a day without food or something to that effect. Huh. Paimon never suspected a guy like him could have a soft side. I wish you a safe journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye, Chisato! Alright. Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. We've got uh -huh. goods to shift. Well. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> there we go. Sacred Sakura's favor. Is that it? I'm sure there's more. Whew, we're finally on our own way again. I see a waypoint over I there. It's time we find Toma. Now where did he say he would A lot of quests again? here, suddenly. Oh right! Komori Tea House! Komori Tea House, okay. What are these electric stuff? Oh no, it's not. Summon Electro Granum. Oh I remember this. Um, why are we going up? Oh, these are electrogranum. Let me try that again. There must be something. Why are we flying up here? Um, I see an electroculus. It's a force field. Okay, our first electroculus. So I assume we have to destroy from the inside. Um, do we need to use electric for this? Wait. No, we can't. 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 Lightning flash. All right. This one I'm not sure. How do you do this? What's this for? Oh, what? What? Oh, you need these to go in. What? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, I think that would be good enough uh, to s for this video. It's actually one hour already. Eh? But... Uh, yeah, I think for Wintress, I unlocked the other maps. Oh, there's still two more. I only got three maps. Okay, there's still two more. Statue of the Seven in the Yashiori Island and in Kanazuka. Okay. And uh, this is unlocked also. New area unlocked. Complete the Moon Bath Deep to unlock. Okay, this one. Also the same. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this video. I finally unlocked Inazuma, uh, the first one island. We got our Rito. <laughs> All right, wow! Look at this. There's a lot to explore again. <laughs> oh, ah, adventure skill is right there. All right, that'll be next time. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.